In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own digital portfolio. In every art class, you're going to be required to maintain a digital portfolio in Schoology, and this will stay with you throughout all your four years of high school. It's a great way to document your art, go back and see your art, and you can also send links of this portfolio out for college applications or scholarship opportunities. Since it's with you all four years, it is not tied to any particular class. So you do have to go into your profile at the very top right of the screen and click your profile. In this area, you will see below your blue, I have a picture, but below the blue, there'll be a, an area for portfolios. You'll see that I've created a ton of portfolios. I've been doing this demo a lot. Um, but you will need to create a new portfolio. And this portfolio, if you're in Art and Design, it's Art and Design 1. If you're in Photography 1, it's, you know, Photography 1. Please make sure to publish. Publish this portfolio. You'll click this button, it'll be green. That way, when I go into your profile, I can click and see your work. If you do not do that, I cannot see your work, and therefore it is a no evidence when I go to grade your presentation. So please remember to make sure that button is green. You will then begin to add your portfolio items. If this is the first project for art and design, you'll be adding in your the first project we did. Um, for this semester, it's called My Art, My Story. It changes every, every semester. Um, if you're in photography, we are putting our Looking versus Scene project in here. So in this case, you would add a portfolio page, and you're going to give a, your page a title. In this case, I'm going to call this My Art, My Story, but you can also title it anything else that you, you know, consider for that title. You're going to add in the art um, for the my art my story. What I had to do here is I noticed I had um, a max file type so I had to take a screenshot of it for the um, cover image. You should be able to, um, so in this case I have to fix that. Um, I have to edit that out and create a, a smaller version. But for the image media that you're going to drop in here, this is the big image of your picture. So after you've taken your awesome, great, cropped, well-lit, non-distorted image of your work, you're going to add it in to your portfolio. And it should display there. You will also need to, once you've finalized your artist statement, careful that you have, you only have 255 characters, so make sure that it's, you know, one or two sentences. And then that is your, that is your portfolio. Um, I'm going to add in my cover image here in a moment. If you have sketches, planning, um, in this case, if you're in photography, you'll have a contact sheet. Um, that would be other additional images that you would add. Um, if you used, uh, reference photos or reference images. I would include them there as well so you can see the whole process of the work. So I took a screenshot of this picture to create um, a smaller file size to add to that cover image. Um, it is really a lot nicer to have a cover image because when you go back to your portfolios, it'll show up here. And it is expected that you have your cover image, your um, description or your artist statement, a nice large image of your work here, as well as any sketches or reference image planning um, also in here to receive an advanced grade on the way that you present your work. That also includes having a cropped, well-lit, work a uh, photo of your work as well. If you have any issues um, or if you run into any file problems, you know, see me in class so we can work this out. As you work through the semester, you will add in additional portfolio pages to your art and design or your photography portfolio. 
and you will fill this up and it will be awesome and amazing and you can show your work off to any of your teachers, parents, friends. So I look forward to seeing your work.